Hello, hello, and welcome to Foundation, a medieval city building game, where we are in the city of Kalir. And let's unpause. We have built a bridge, and we are using it quite well. Going over to the other side, we're clearing this plot of land so that we can develop this further. This is going to be a partially. This I I want to make this a self-sufficient island. Uh, it's going to produce its own food. It's not going to produce clothes though. Clothes are going to come from outside, but it's going to have some dairy over here possibly and cheese makers and stuff and a small bunch of houses in the middle. Now we did have some houses here, which I removed the housing and remove the houses, remove the housing. Look at that. It's like a small plot of cleared land. The rest of it was grass inside the house, I guess. I mean, people do tell you to have greenery inside your house. Plants inside the house does liven up how the how you feel, but it's a little bit much. So we are getting some wood in, and not a lot, but a decent amount. We are getting some fish in from here, which is good. We have twelve stone, so the amount of stone we have is pretty small. We do have polished stone which we can sell and speaking of selling stuff we have 100 bread over here and 100 bread over here I don't know how much bread we've actually sold how much have we sold uh, last week income villager consumption trade income is 356 this is from 20 bread that we sold is that the limit of bread I can sell? Can I sell bread to somebody else? Doesn't seem like I can, but I can sell polished stone to this dude and I can sell planks to this dude. So that might be something worth looking at. So we can go down here to polished stone. Uh, where are you? You are here. Polished stone. And let's say above 100, I'm going to sell. Sell all above 100. And planks again is going to be sold everything above 100. Uh, berries, oh, we're selling berries. That's a bad idea. Let's stop selling that. Is that the problem with our berry situation? Maybe. But things are going fine for the time being. We have enough. Sure, this is much better sounding. So yeah, we have a bunch of gold, which we can actually dump in. Uh, let's get some of these things, not necessarily because we need it, but just because we can get it. Uh, we need to dump some gold somewhere for sure, because we are nearing our limit of gold. So we could expand in this direction so we can get into one of these places. Did she find quartz again? She's finding a lot of stuff on this particular mountain, on this particular rocky outcrop. So it could be interesting to go down there. But I do want to cover this area for sure. This tiny little island. I want to get all parts of this island unlocked. We could have another bridge going here and a bridge going here and a bridge coming here. So you know it's like a small little bridgey place see the point is why why i'm thinking about this decision so much is because we need to pay 50 gold coins for for this so how am i going to make that money back is a question i think i'm going to get this because this has food and this has a little bit of berries also most important it's got wood so let's get all of this wood out oh 
over here as well which would mean I can expand my housing a little bit more over here which is a good thing to do it's a good idea right right all of that's fine uh, this place is going to get done with its wood which means I will move the lumber camp to here probably have two lumber camps right next to each other going at it going crazy for wood happiness is off the charts ladies and gentlemen happiness is amazing our people here are amazingly happy except for me because Hildegard is not getting me what I want what did you find for me you found quartz again you are useless Hildegard you are completely useless right now because we have a bunch of money to throw around it might be a good idea to promote some serfs so I want to see how much I can promote not all of them clearly but a lot of them which is good um, so 300 right each of them at 20 I got like 10 and some I think I got like 15 people to become serfs which is decent it's not so bad it's not as bad as could be monk is approaching please ask me for fish mr monk which reminds me this market is done is it no it's still not done technically i can start selling fish there i guess So we have berries, we have bread, we have clothes, we have fish and yeah, that's our little market there. That's our main market. Everybody's living around there. So I guess it's easy for them to walk across and get stuff from the market. But if we are going to branch out and probably have some houses here, we need to have a separate market over there. There he is. There's the monk. Whoa. Are you on a horse? No, you're not. Uh, what do you want? You want wood? Hmm. Who am I going to give it to this time? What do I need? I don't have any swords. I have seven crowns. Let's give it to the king. We have ignored the king for a long time, haven't we? We surely have. Uh, this is the one which had one empty, right? So let's get the wood here. Fifty wood isn't that much, so it shouldn't be much of a problem for us. There's the trader. He took all the stone from here. Which wasn't a lot, I guess. It was a bunch of stone. It wasn't too many. So, yeah, meh, sure. We really need more places to sell our clothes. See, because we've got just one sheep's farm. We've got just one of each building. But still, our production is in so much of surplus. Our people just can't buy all of it. Right? There's already 50 stock there and people can't buy all of it, for sure. This is a nice little picture. I still like this view though. This view is like the best view. 
happiness is coming down a little bit i don't know why though i mean everything is taken care of for the people we have 37 serfs and 39 newcomers uh did our military return they went quite far didn't they dead all of them are dead we sent 10 people and all 10 of them have perished this is nasty we have 10 more coming your way so that's 10 more i guess that's everybody oh no bad weather once again so do we have wood yeah we have plenty of wood so we can dispatch this wood and then we can stop getting the wood here and we can see if we can get weapons we need 10 weapons right so let's do that and let's see who's selling weapons uh middle is buying weapons they're not selling it though i can unlock you you were selling weapons to me for 50 Ah oh, that's going to take such a huge beating this month. We are going to have to buy 20 of the weapons. So even if I maintain a stock level of 10, which is exactly what I'm going to do because I have 10 people fighting my wars, I will still have so many more weapons. What what am I doing? No, no. So over here, parallax much. So that's going to be what one thousand gold that goes out, which I don't even have. So the next couple of months is going to be pretty tight, guys. Pretty tight, guys. It sure is going to be tight. But just hope that we don't lose all ten of these people, because they're just punching. No. I can't imagine how this war would have been, you know. King would have been like, "Okay, everybody charge." And our guys are like, "Oh yeah." And they raise their fists in the defensive position and they run towards the enemy who's got friggin' shields and swords and they just slay us. They just slayed 10 of our fully trained men. Just sad. Was a sad day for us, wasn't it? Very sad day. All 10 of them died. All right, two more people have decided to join. Seems like the bloodletting is exciting other people to come in and join us, I guess. That's fine. Wonder where the bailiff is. Should we try and follow her? Hildegard Oh, there you are. This is on the same hill, on the same outcrop. Is there no other outcrop? Is that why she's just looking at this? Hope this is marble. Seems like it's a white stone. Was it? Was it marble? Did she find marble? Just stone. Okay. Cool. What? I mean, it's going to be horrible if we have nothing on this map with four of these outcrops. nothing on this map except freaking quartz and iron not that those are bad resources those are good resources but i surely want marble and i want gold just so you know we are self sufficient we don't have to import all of that a nice little dinner table i mean it's spot on in the middle of the road that's definitely a problem uh we can promote serves so let's promote as many as we can 
so yeah it's it's spot on in the middle of the road which is kind of like a problem but you know you can see the army strain as you have your lunch or dinner who's living in this house by the way you have rose rose is a carpenter you have edith edith is a forager you have victoria who's a transporter you have claude who's a transporter frederick a transporter william bald who's a forager all of them working in and around here for sure oh look at this look at all these little islands and stuff it's nice sure is nice so this has finished its purpose uh which means it could be time for us to get where is the resources yeah could be time for us to get another one of these probably up in here Maybe I want to build a forestry area around here. That could be good. But for the time being, let's just get a lumber camp here. Once that's done, we delete this. So we have all of this room here to do anything that we want. And what we want to do with that room is we want to get some milk and we want to get some dairy. how many now nine villages lack space four villages lack what are you serious we have space for 20 here 20 of 20 is full we have space for 30 here 30 of that's full too so we need to expand this for sure so let's go edit we could get another core over here it's one way of going about it we could get a bunch of extensions so we could get one of these okay this is a smaller extension i think this should be fine for the time being This is going to grow to be quite a big church I think. Cuz I think we're going to have four extensions poking out like so. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. The rains have come again as usual. We have plenty of food to take care of us. But there is a monk who's waiting for us probably looking for a handout. Yes he is. He needs tools. I don't make tools. I don't make tools, guy. Music in this game is really soothing. Really like the direction these developers are going in. I think it's amazing, it's splendid. Um So here's the thing, huh? On my videos, uh, on on most of my videos, I get like 4 views, 5 views, that's about it. It's not a lot of views. but the developers actually make it a point to look at each and every person who tweets about this game which maybe they're just doing it maybe they just see somebody who tweets it and they're like oh yeah like like oh yeah but you know it kind of makes it really personal it makes you want to play this game more and that's exactly the kind of care that they take in making this game as well 
they go back and they work on things based on the feedback that they get from people and it's really nice so since the rains are battering us right now and our satisfaction is dropping because oh it's because of that isn't it uh how much have you increased to it's 20 of 20 so we're still waiting for everything to get done is it before it updates Oh, we have all the products anyway, so it's just a matter of time before it com completes construction. There it is. So there should be more space for villagers to practice their religion, to pray. So they should be happier with us. Just waiting for this small part to complete. Once that is done, uh, we should be good. We should be looking at something in the 90s again, which is nice, which is fine. Nobody is assigned. They're waiting for stone, I guess. They're waiting for, yeah, there's the stone. They could just use polished stone for this. I guess that's why the monastery is there for polished stone. Uh, it's almost complete. I guess they just need to put the windows in. There it is. This is complete. So this can take 50 people, which is a sizable amount of people. So 50 people here, this can take 30. That's 80. Our population is only 67. So we have more than enough room for everybody. So they should be getting happy pretty soon. Every single person who is in our village has a church now where they can go sit down and pray. And on that note, I'm going to put a quick cut in this video. Uh, do like and subscribe if you like the content that I'm putting outside. Uh, do comment if you have anything worthy of commenting or even just if you want to have a conversation. Until we meet again next time, take care now. Bye-bye then.